Welcome to Crossover Corner, where we offer a quick primer on Marvel Comics crossover events from the last 30 years. This episode, we are talking about Inferno, a 1989 crossover event that touched all of the X-Books, as well as other New York heroes like Spider-Man and Daredevil. Hilariously, Avengers completely ignore this event. The important players in this event are the X-Men, or X-Men adjacent, centering on Alani Rasputin, member of the New Mutants, and sister of Peter Rasputin, Colossus. Given its X-Men continuity, there's a ton of storylines that coalesce in this crossover, so let's start with Eliana. Initially a toddler for the early part of her existence on the X-Books, she's magically transported to Limbo and ages to a teen, and also comes into possession of the Soul Sword and Armor. She shares these with Kitty Pride, and in the past, when she appeared to die, the Sword and Armor revert to Kitty. Former paramour of Scott Summers, Madeline Pryor is revealed to be the clone of Jean Grey. Jean was assumed to have been transformed into Phoenix, was actually in a healing cocoon in the bottom of the bay, so when Dark Phoenix is killed, the assumption is that Jean Grey is dead as well. Madeline is created by the villain Mr. Sinister, a villain I've always hated, and she is sent, unaware of her origin, to seduce Scott Summers, Cyclops. Mr. Sinister apparently also helped inspire Cyclops to use his powers for the first time, saving his brother and himself from certain death. Upon the return of Jean Grey in the formation of X-Factor, Madeline Pryor die, disappears, having lost Scott is the love of her life. This is important, like I said, X-Men continuity was already complicated in the 80s. Two demons strictly Ileana had opened a portal between Manhattan and Limbo, allowing an army of demons to rampage through the city. A side effect of the invasion is demonic possession of machines like cars, trains, and radios. One of the most interesting things about 80s comics was the amazing political and sexual content buried in the Comics Code approved series. The demonic costumes for the heroes that become possessed by the demons are S&M bondage gear and dependent on the artist either salacious or just sexy. Ileana finally dissipates the demons by creating a massive teleportation disc and then abandoning the soul sword in the portal, reverting her to a child. Despite the invasion having failed, Mr. Sinister successfully turns Madeline against Scott and Jean, and she even kidnaps and threatens the murder of their infant son, Nathan, who eventually becomes Cable. Match. Madeline bonds with Jean Grey and tries to kill both of them, but the Phoenix Force emerges to convince Jean to live. Complicating things is the Phoenix, who's also a member of Excalibur, as she is yet another future child of the Summers, Rachel. Mr. Sinister flees the X-Mansion and destroys it, and is killed by Cyclops. Inferno was kind of a mess of a crossover. The visual design of the demons gave the books it touched a grimy, grungy look, and the books like Daredevil was essentially background drama to accent the main story. I didn't like Inferno in the 80s, and I still don't like it now. I do like those S&M costumes. 